Dementia is a general term for symptoms like decline in memory, reasoning or other thinking skills. And Alzheimer's is a type of dementia. Or you can say the most common type of dementia. Alzheimer's is a progressive disease beginning with mild memory loss and possibly leading to loss of ability to carry on a conversation and respond to environment. Alzheimer's disease involves parts of brain that controls thought, memory and language. And Alzheimer's is a particular brain disease that occurs for 60 to 80 percent of dementia cases. So first of all, let us discuss about the causes of Alzheimer's. Alzheimer's is thought to be caused by the abnormal buildup of proteins in and around brain cells. One of the proteins thought to be involved is called amyloid. Protein amyloids deposits which forms plaques around brain cells. Other protein is called tau, so this protein forms tangles within brain cells. Although it's not known what causes the process of Alzheimer's to begin, the scientists now know that it begins many years before the symptoms appear. As brain cells become affected, there is also decrease in chemical messenger called neurotransmitters. Neurotransmitters are chemical messengers involved in sending messages or signals between brain cells. Level of one neurotransmitter called acetylcholine are particularly low in the brains of people with Alzheimer's. For time, different areas of brain get shrinkage. The first areas of brain usually affected are responsible for memories. In more unusual forms of Alzheimer's disease, different areas of brains are affected. The first symptoms may be problem with vision or language rather than memory. And the symptoms of Alzheimer's are divided into different phases. Early phase, middle phase and later phase. Now let us first discuss about the early phase symptoms of Alzheimer's. Early phase is mainly concerned with the memory lapses. A person with Alzheimer's in early phase will forget about the recent conversations or events. It's likely that he or she will misplace the items, forget the names of places and objects, will have difficulties in thinking of the right words, and he or she will ask the same questions repeatedly. The judgment skills and decision making will be very poor. The Alzheimer's patient in the early stage will tend to be less flexible and more hesitant to try new things. Now let us talk about the middle symptoms of Alzheimer's. With time, the memory problems will get worse. Someone with this condition may find it very difficult to remember the names of people they know and may struggle to recognize their own family members and friends. The rate of confusion and disorientation will increase to very high level. For example, getting lost, not knowing the time, wandering around, he or she will get repetitive or very impulsive. They will start believing things that are untrue, which can be addressed as delusions paranoid and suspicious about careers and family. And the other symptoms in the mid stage of Alzheimer's includes problems with speech or language which can be addressed as aphasia. They often get insomnia which is also known as disturbed sleeping pattern and the frequent mood swings, increasing anxiety and frustration. They will start seeing and hearing things which others don't. This phenomena is known as hallucination. Now let us discuss about the late symptoms of Alzheimer's. So this is the severe phase which is very distressing for the person and family. In the later phase, hallucination and delusions come and go over the course of illness but can get even worse as the condition progress. The person with Alzheimer's at the later phase becomes violent, demanding and suspicious of those around them. They will even feel difficulties in eating and swallowing food. It will be very difficult for them to change position or move around without assistance. The weight loss in some cases is very severe and unintentional passing of urine is one of the symptoms in the later stage of Alzheimer's. Now let's talk about the risks of getting Alzheimer's. Every 5 years after you reach 65 is likely to get Alzheimer's. But it's not just older people who are at risk of developing Alzheimer's. Around 1 out of 20 people with this condition are under 65. Inheritance of single genes or genetic dementia has also some risks of getting Alzheimer's. People with Down syndromes are at higher risks of getting Alzheimer's as genetic changes that causes Down syndromes can also cause amyloid plaques to build up in brain over time. And the other risks of getting Alzheimer's are head injuries, cardiovascular diseases, as we all know that preventions are always better than cure. So let us find out some preventive measures for Alzheimer's. 
as the exact cause of Alzheimer's disease is still unknown, there is no certain way to prevent this condition. But a healthy social lifestyle can help to reduce the risks of getting Alzheimer's. Alzheimer's are mainly due to hearing loss, untreated depression, loneliness or social isolation. For that, you need to take part in a group sports, trying new activities or hobbies, playing musical instrument, maintaining active social life, volunteering in the programs of your local community and if you have other cardiovascular diseases then you need to follow the strict diet and take medicines in time.